पी एच ऑफ वीक एसिड सोल्यूशन एंड वी आर कंसिडरिंग डिसोसिएशन ऑफ वॉटर dissociation of water is considered here so what happens in this you see okay suppose we have a weak acid ha and it dissociates as H plus A minus, and we have water also dissociating is H plus and OH minus. Now in this solution, you see what all ions are present. We have H plus A minus and OH minus present. These are the ions present in the solution. on charge balance if you are balancing the charge we need to write total positive charge equals to the total negative charge h plus equals to a minus and oh minus right charge balance if i write down the dissociation constant of an acid ka ka equals to h plus look at this reaction product by reactant and if you find out a minus from this ka into concentration of h a by h plus similarly the expression of kw if you see it is h plus and oh minus and the concentration of oh minus equals to kw by h plus concentration actually what we are trying to do we have h plus already here if a minus and oh minus we substitute in terms of h plus then we can find out the total concentration of h plus and that is what we are doing okay now this a minus and oh minus will substitute here in this equation so what we get here you see h plus equals to ka into h a by h plus A W by by H plus. Okay, so H plus concentration is square. K W plus K A into concentration of H A. One second, I'll go back. Concentration of H A. Suppose if you are assuming C. then h plus concentration would be ka into c plus kw root over of it this is the formula we have of h plus You can find out H plus from this, and then further pH you can find out.
Done. Finished. Tell me, guys. Okay. Now, see here, we are assuming the mixture of one acid and water, only one acid. If you have more than one, then what happens? Suppose we have two acid. If two acid A1 and A2 are mixing in water, okay, then H plus concentration would be for one acid, we'll write Ka1C1, for another one, we'll write Ka2C2 and then k w root over of it if it is 3 then we'll have k k a 3 c 3 also and so on it goes tell me any doubt here Next is if we are mixing in this only you write down the note. If the mixture of weak base and water, weak base and water and water dissociation we are considering. Okay. Then we have exactly same formula, but since we have base, so we won't get H plus here, but we get OH minus on the left side is equals to KB one C one plus KB two C two plus KW two acid two base. If you're mixing, then this is the formula. we have. No difference. Exactly same formula we have. Okay. Calculate the pH of a solution containing two acids. All the values are given Ka1 equals to 10 to the power minus 8 molar C1 is equals to 10 to the power minus T molar. This is not there. K is 10 to the minus 8. Ka2 is 10 to the power minus 7 molar and C2 is 5 did I write this molar C2 is 10 to the power minus 3 molar okay we need to consider consider the dissociation of water I'll write down here consider the 
dissociation of water. Tell me. Yes, what is the answer? Okay, so we have two acids, so it gives H plus. H plus concentration would be K1C1, C2, and KW. KA1C1 is 10 to the power minus 10. Ka2C2 is 10 to the power minus 10, 10 to the power minus 14. Temperature is not given, we are assuming 25 degrees Celsius. So 10 to the power minus 10, we can take common here. So it is 10 to the power minus 5 outside this root, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 10 to the power minus 4 here. This value is very small, we'll just ignore this. So it is, uh, root 2 into 10 to the power minus 5. Okay, so pH would be what? Minus log of H plus. So it is 5 minus log of root 2. So 5 minus root 2 is what? 5 minus half of log 2. Log 2 is 0 0.30. So it is 0 0.15, 5 minus 0.15. 4.85 is the answer approximately we have. Tell me, is this right? Yes, any doubt in this? Okay. Okay. Next, you see, we have salt hydrolysis.
what do you understand by this term salt hydrolysis it is the hydrolysis of salt right when you dissolve salt in water okay so basically what happens if you look at this reaction here okay we have a reaction in which an acid is reacting with base it forms salt and water correct so this reaction is neutralization reaction right this is neutralization reaction when acid and base are reacting they both neutralize each other correct hydrolysis of salt is what when the salt is dissolved in water so basically when we talk about hydrolysis of salt it is the reverse of neutralization process okay so this reaction is the reverse of of neutralization reaction and this reaction goes in backward direction actually we are talking about this yellow wala reaction salt in water so what happens when you dissolve salt in water so first of all you see the salt hydrolysis we are going to you know get a formula in this again the formula of ph because all this solution we need to find out ph only right so salt hydrolysis is applicable in case of complete neutralization write down complete neutralization means what if you have this condition number of equivalents of acid equals to the number of equivalents of base okay so if this condition is there then salt hydrolysis formula will apply otherwise we have a different you know case what is that case we'll discuss that later but here just you keep this in mind that this is the condition for salt hydrolysis we have if this condition is not there then we have a different kind of solution it forms and for that solution how do we find out ph we'll discuss that later but the solution that we get here is generally we call it as buffer solution okay when you look at buffer solution so in buffer solution and in salt hydrolysis we have similar kind of reaction correct similar kind of reaction so what formula we need to apply when that you need to understand when is the condition of salt hydrolysis when is the condition of buffer solution that you can understand by this when it is complete neutralization buffer solution is not applicable keep that in mind okay this is one thing so basically suppose we have an acid ha and a base boh so when this to react it forms ba a salt and water h2o 
right? Salt and water H2. When this salt dissolve in water, when this salt dissolve in water, then what happens you see? Because it is salt, so it exists as B plus and A minus. So B plus plus H2O. It forms BOH plus H plus. A minus plus H2O gives HA plus OH minus. Any doubt in this? Tell me all of you. Yes, guys, tell me. No doubt. Hello, are you there? Okay. Yeah. See, when you talk about the hydrolyzed uh, solution, okay, hydrolyzed solution that you get means once the hydrolysis takes place. So you see, depending upon the hydrolysis of ions, the solution can be either be acidic or basic or neutral. If suppose this reaction is taking place more than this one, then it will furnish more H plus it gives acidic behavior to the solution. If this is taking place more, then it will furnish OH minus basic solution will be there. Okay, one second. Okay, basic solution will be there. So that is what we need to understand that for a given condition, whether the solution will be acidic or basic or neutral. Okay, why it is acidic or basic, you can understand it clearly. When salt get hydrolyzed, it will produce H plus and OH minus. Now, depending upon the concentration of this two, if this one is more acidic property, if this one is more basic property, if both are equal, neutral. So which one is more? That depends upon the extent of hydrolysis of this ion, of the salt. The ion which is more hydrolyzed, according to that, will understand the acidic or basic behavior of the solution. Correct? So we have in this under salt hydrolysis, we have four possible cases. Like we are taking acid and base. So it can be strong, it can be weak. This also can be strong, can be weak. So there are four possible PNC, permutation and combination we have over here. Strong, strong, weak, 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 strong, strong, weak. Okay, four conditions of acid and base. So first condition you see, Hydrolysis of salt of, heading right down all of you. Hydrolysis of salt of strong acid and a strong base. A strong acid allied as SA strong base is SP. Hydrolysis of the salt of strong acid and strong base. This means we are taking a strong acid and base for this purpose. For example, suppose I'm taking HCl, strong acid and base, NaOH. Gives what? It gives NaCl and OH and H2O. NaCl and H2. 
okay now this nacl is the you know strong electrolyte basically so it exist as na plus and cl minus now one thing is very uh, important here when hydrolysis of this salt if you consider it means the reaction of na plus and cl minus with h2o this is what the reaction you are considering but this forms either it forms naoh or it forms hcl right but both are a strong acid and a strong base so both exist in the form of ions only na plus and cl minus na plus and oh minus h plus and cl minus so point here is what a strong acid and a strong base whenever you take right so their salt does not get hydrolyzed because they exist in the forms of ions itself right and we conclude here one note you write down na plus is the cation of strong base so cation of a strong base cl minus is the anion of strong acid and anion of the strong acid does not go under hydrolysis does not go under hydrolysis so for this two we do not have hydrolysis possible right and the reaction is said to be the solution is said to be neutral its ph value is 7 so it is always a neutral solution this is the condition clear and doubt okay second case we have hydrolysis of salt of weak acid and strong base okay so suppose i am taking a weak acid here ch3coh when it get hydrolyzed with h2o what it forms sorry when it reacts with strong base say naoh what is the reaction we have here it forms salt and water the so salt is this ch3 c o o n a and water is h plus o h minus h2 now when this salt if you see this dissociates like ch3 c o o minus and this one is na plus so na plus is the cation of strong base so for this we have no hydrolysis
only this will go under hydrolysis. So its reaction, what happens in this? We have CH3COO minus plus H2O hydrolysis reaction. It forms CH3COOH plus OH minus. Right? Now you see in the solution we are getting OH minus ion. It means it is a basic solution, isn't it? Means the pH value for this solution should be less than seven. Oh, I'm sorry, it's greater than seven, no? pH value should be greater than seven. POH is less than seven, correct? So one thing you understood that acid is getting the, you know, weak acid, one, one more thing you can understand directly because we have, we, we, we will see the derivation of this. How do we get the pH formula? Correct. But to memorize the formula, a few things you can think of. One thing directly you can think of here that acid is weak, right? Acid is weak. Base is strong. So this is a strong base. So it will dominate. And it gives the basic property to the solution. Directly, you can understand here. If it is basic, then pH should be more than seven. Yes, like this, you can memorize it. You'll see the derivation also over here. Okay. Now, suppose this salt that you have here, CS3CONA or CS3CO minus, having concentration C, right? Water we are not considering. This is zero and zero initially. Remember, in order to find out pH, you can calculate H plus concentration. You can also calculate OH minus concentration because once you know OH minus, you know pH, and then we know P, uh, we know when you know OH minus concentration, you know pOH concentration, then you can find out pH and hence the, uh, you know, we can calculate this. When this gets, this gets hydrolyzed, then what we'll write, it is C minus CH. This is CH and this is CH. H is the degree of hydrolysis. Degree of hydrolysis. You can consider this H as alpha only. Right, like we have H alpha there, here we have H. Copy this down. Done. Okay, if I write down the expression of KH here, the expression of KH would be, KH is similar to K, KC that we have, but this H stands for hydrolysis constant it is. Like we have equilibrium constant, this is hydrolysis constant KH. So this would be, the concentration of product that is CH3 COOH into OH minus divided by CH3 COO minus. Yeah, KH expression is this. Where KH is the hydrolysis constant. 
terms you must remember okay done okay now you see the expression of kh equals to ch3 coo h divided by CH3 COO minus and on the top we have here OH minus concentration. Okay. Now we are doing some change into this. What change I'll tell you. I am multiplying H plus concentration in the numerator and denominator. Once you do this, you see easily you can observe what is this expression and this expression. This expression is 1 by Ka, isn't it? And this one is nothing but Kw. Yes, tell me. Should I go back or Okay, one second. Copied. Okay. Did you understand this? It is one by K. This is KW. So the expression of KH equals to KW by K. On this relation also, they ask question in the exam. This is also very important relation. First thing is this. Okay. Remember this K is the dissociation constant of weak acid that is CH3COOH. Now, I want you to write down the expression of KH again. We have KH is equals to CH3COOH into OH minus divided by concentration of CH3COO minus. In this only we have done some modification and we get this. CH3COOH, the concentration if you go back and see it is CH, OH minus also it is CH, it is C into 1 minus H. C and C will get cancelled. So KH is equals to, we get CH square divided by 1 minus H. Okay. Again, we have assumption. If If H is very small, we can take one minus H almost equals to one. 
and hence kh equals to ch square kh we know already so h is equals to kh by c root over of it kh is kw by ka just now we did previous page you see into this so this also they ask sometimes in the exam the formula of h here right this is also very important once you know h because we need to find out this here you see we need to find out the concentration of oh minus see this concentration of this oh minus the base right this is ch h we know already so concentration of oh minus would be it is given a ch so at is this formula we have so when you solve this you'll get kw into c divided by ka okay this is oh minus concentration now once you have this concentration you can easily find out poh did i miss root yeah we have a root over also root over okay so ph calculation poh would be what minus log of oh minus which is kw into c divided by ka root over of it okay and when you solve this you will get poh equals to 7 minus half of pka plus log c poh is equals to 7 minus half of pka plus log c this is the another formula and we know ph is 14 minus poh ph is 14 minus poh so that would be 7 plus half of pka plus log c This is the problem. So you see, pH we are getting greater than seven, pOH we are getting less than seven, which means the solution is basic, and that is what our understanding, since the base was strong, and we were getting OH minus ion in the solution, so it should be basic only. whatever formula i have written in this box all these formulas are important for numericals Yes, then.
डन गाइज ओके नेक्स्ट वन टू थर्ड वन इज हाइड्रोलिसिस ऑफ हाइड्रोलिसिस ऑफ स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड and weak base okay what should be the nature of the solution here acidic why because the acid is strong here so whatever is strong that will be the nature of the acid you see i am assuming a base here that is nh4oh weak base acid is hcl gives nh4cl and h2o okay salt is this which gives the iron which is nh4 plus and cl minus dissolution of these ions in water nh4 plus in water equals to we have nh4 oh plus h plus okay cl minus won't go under hydrolysis because it is the anion of strong acid hence no hydrolysis correct so hydrolysis of only this uh, ion nh4 plus is possible we are getting h plus here you see like i said we have h plus here so solution is acidic in nature and when it is acidic its ph value should be less than 7 exactly similar you know a uh, kind of derivation we have here it is c 0 0 c minus ch ch and ch so kh equals to nh4oh nh4oh then we have h plus divided by nh4 plus concentration okay so this would be equals to ch into ch c into 1 minus h so basically it is ch square so h h is equals to kh by c root over of it this is the first one copy this down remember h plus concentration is ch
Yes, same thing. We are assuming the same thing. H is less than one. Okay, next we can write down, since we have H plus concentration is C into H, so C into KH by C root over of it. So it is C K H root over of it. Okay, KH also we can find out KH equals to KW by KB here. If you remember in the previous one, it was KW by KA. So whatever is weak, if acid is weak, then we'll have here KA. If base is weak, we'll have here KB. How do we get this? Same thing will multiply by OH minus in the numerator and denominator. Do you want me to do this again? Tell me once. You can write down the expression of KB. Okay. You can write down the expression of KB. The expression of KB would be for this reaction, you see. We have NH4 plus plus H2O gives NH4OH plus H plus. So KB for this would be NH4OH H plus once again H plus divided by NH4 plus. So I'll multiply here by OH minus in the numerator and OH minus in the denominator. So this OH minus and H plus in the numerator, it is KW and this is one by KB. Oh, one second. This is KH. I've written KB by mistake. Okay, so KH equals to, you see, we have KW in the top and KB in the bottom. That's what we got over here. Okay, so whatever is weak, that will come down in the denominator. Last time it was weak acid, so it is KW by KA. Here it is KW by KB. Now this KH, you can substitute here and you'll get the concentration of H plus. So concentration of H plus would be C into KW by KB root over of it. Okay. Then pH is equals to minus log of H plus. And when you substitute the concentration of H plus, you will get seven minus half of PKB plus log C pH. Okay, so here also you see we are getting PKB here. The weak one will come over here. Last time it was PKA because acid was weak. If you want to calculate POH here, will be 14 minus pH. So POH would be
this is the formula of POH. Any doubt? You see, we are getting pH less than seven. Here, hence it is acidic. Yes, guys, understood. Yes, guys, any doubt in this? Okay, this is quite easy. The formula is also you can, you know, logically you can compare and you can keep in mind. But the thing is like, what formula you have to use when that is important, right? Yes, one second, just, or just one minute. Okay, you need to analyze that. Like I said, salt hydrolysis formula we can apply only when we have complete neutralization, right? Complete neutralization, okay? Once we finish this, we have one more condition left into this that we'll take after the break. Once we finish this, you'll see buffered solution. And in buffered solution, you will understand that both cases, hydrolysis and buffer solution, you will have the same reaction. But same reaction we have, and we are using different pH formula. So that you can understand once you keep this condition in mind. Like I said, when there is no acid and base present, it is only salt and water, then only will apply the salt hydrolysis formula. Otherwise, it may form buffer solution. We have few conditions for that, that you need to keep in mind. Okay. Fine. We'll take a break now. We'll resume at 6.30. Okay. We'll see the fourth, uh, you know, uh, condition in that and then we'll see some questions take a break guys <laughs> 